Hi everyone, if you have just watched my last video on how to polar align using the Nina plug-in app, the three-point polar alignment, nothing wrong with the video, it's a great video and I hope you would watch it, but I want to show you some of the tricks I used in Nina to help set up the tabs and make it easy to get to. It's really simple, but there's some little hidden things perhaps in loading Nina and then uh, operating Nina. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing you want to do is, of course, if you don't have Nina, is to go to their website. And uh, I have it right here. Uh, just Google nighttime imaging in astronomy. Um, you, you, if you try Nina, you might not get there it, it, real fast. Just, but just type in nighttime imaging, and that'll probably take it to you right there. Or just go directly to the uh, website, uh, nighttime-imaging.eu. I'll have a link to that in the comments sections below. So the first thing you want to do is you know, read over some of their stuff if you want to. Uh, if you would you know, consider, if you have the means, to go ahead and donate and to help support their project. That's a, that's, a, that's a good thing to do. You can do it several different ways. Just click on the Donate button. But let's go to the Downloads. And what you want to do is you want to download the beta versions, not the stable version. Even though the stable version is not too bad, uh, a lot of the new stuff is only in the beta versions. The stable version is 1.10 HF3. However, the beta versions are the 1.11 uh, programs, and now they're uh, the nightly build. Uh, 137 is the latest nightly build. So I just downloaded that into my system. And you can just download it here by clicking on uh, Setup, uh, if you're, of course, using a Windows-type computer. And uh, you can uh, set up the uh, uh, install bundle right there, and hit Save, and it will uh, save it to your download file and then from there you can just double click it and uh, move on from there. So, okay, now if you never had Nina on your computer before, uh, all you have to do is click on the Nina setup bundle that you just downloaded from Nina and just double click on that. It'll pause for a couple of seconds. You're going to get this protection uh, risk. Uh, so ignore that and just click on more info and click run anyway and there it will go into the setup and you'll get this screen here click on i agree well gotta hit it and then install now if you want to go in the options you can put it someplace else if you don't want to put it in the default um, program files on your computer but otherwise just say okay and install. So, and you, from that, let's go into Nina itself. And uh, I just opened up Nina, and I'm in the. Um, well, if you start off in the options, you, you have that right there. Uh, there is in the 11.1 versions, uh, nightly builds. You have plugins available. By the way, if you're in nightly builds, go to the option page, and under Auto Date Source auto update source click on nightly so you have uh, the release the beta and the nightly so click on nightly and it will it won't download it for you but it will tell you that there's a new uh, upload ready to uh, go to your system so just click on that and, and it'll, it'll give you information it'll be right up in this area here on your menu however I just updated mine so it's not there at the moment so now go to plugins and the first thing you're going to see in plugins, there's no plugins found. It's obviously that's the first time you've been there. And they have uh, an area of installed, which it defaults to right here. And then you have uh, what's available. And these are free. And they have all different kinds of uh, plugins now to play with. I've only played really with uh, the one, the three point polar alignment. Uh, but there's other ones in there you can play with. A light bucket that gives you uh, the option of having Nina send you email or text reports uh, if you're out and doing an automatic uh, session and something happens it, it will contact you that's kind of interesting anyway um, let's go to three-point alignment click on that and it tells you all about it and so forth and what have you and um, you know scroll down you can see some of the examples they have which you probably have hopefully have seen on my um, uh, video that I just uh, uploaded before this one. Anyway, click on install. Watch how fast this goes. Blah, blah, blah. It's done. <laughs> it's already installed. So go back into the um, 
uh, installed. Oh, you, you know what? Do you see what happened? I didn't read the fine print. Here, it's grayed out, but it says restart required or required restart. So you have to close out Nina like so and start it up again like so. Takes about 15 seconds for Nina to boot up. There it have it coming in. And now, uh, I don't have any equipment connected to this computer. I'm using this for um, uh, video purposes only. And I want to just move this out a little bit here. I don't want to go full screen because it blocks out my taskbar. So, see, so now I can get to the taskbar still. All right. Uh, what you want to do is, let's see, go to the plugins and uh, we have three point polar alignment is in available and now it says if you do you want to uninstall it well no I want to use it so next thing you want to do in the earlier versions you had to go into the advanced sequencer to get into the three point polar alignment you don't have to do that now with I think build 135 and upward uh, you don't have to do that just go into your imaging uh, area tab and over here on the top where you have tools you have the uh, an imaging tool you have image history plate solving oh, by the way you must have plate solving set up in Nina for this to work that's very important um, polar alignment that's the old one uh, you don't want to mess with that one um, I don't like it um, that's why I never tried it before because this to me was just I, it was I don't know to me it was just too intimidating so um, I didn't I didn't like it so I, I just turned it off uh, autofocus that's a good thing to have down in your um, imaging tab and uh, uh, way at the end is three-point polar alignment again this has to be in build I think 135 and up this is build 137 now in my system I have the image tab right here uh, from right over here so you can be in your uh, for example your sky atlas or your framing assistance assistant uh, sequencer uh, add new sequences what have you um, the image control here is where I usually have most of my time when I'm doing a session and over here on the bottom of this image tab Right below it I have my guider but I have the image image history and the autofocus and if you go over here to the three-point polar alignment and click on that it should add it right into here if it doesn't if it adds it someplace else just grab a hold of it and slide it up into the image tab right there and then it will show up uh, right in there uh, you can move that over if you want or I missed it went too far uh, let's just try it again move it well, right there all right and there you have it and, and, and this will start you off and again as I mentioned in the uh, previous video uh, if you want to polar align say on the southern hemisphere uh, star uh, such as M16 as I did the other night uh, which is high in the southern sky in the uh, lower latitudes in the northern latitudes it's low in the southern sky but to just click on uh, start from current position or if you want Nino to start it you know someplace else uh, and you can pick the altitude and the uh, the azimuth you want to pick and start uh, doing that notice it says my camera is not connected telescopes not connected uh, switch to manual mode if no telescope uh, connection is available well uh, once you have all your equipment connected this this should run very easily so there you have it right there and uh, of course that's the start button um, but uh, you can toggle between these to your image, image history, the autofocus, whatever you want to put in there. If you want to put in um, uh, your uh, your guider, for example, in there, uh, you can. Let's let's, let's say look, the filter wheel. Let's say you want to take a look at the uh, the filter wheel in the that tab. You just drop it right there, and there it would be. So you then can monitor your filter wheel. Um, but I usually keep it over here. I like to. Uh, uh, keep it right in here so there you have it okay 
I'm sure there's many other programs out there to help you polar align. And remember, you know, polar alignment is extremely important if you're going to do long-term exposures uh, with your imagery, uh, imagery if, particularly if it's beyond five minutes. Uh, so, you know, make sure your scope and rig is properly polar aligned. And with this Nina app, it just makes it really easy no matter where you are, even if you can't see the North Star. Well, if you can see the stars, I hope you do have clear skies. And unless you need rain, everyone, clear skies to you.